South Africa's economy and the quality of life of its people rely on an efficient electricity system. The CSIR and ESCOM have a long history of collaboration using technological innovation to help optimize the power utilities operation. Recently, the CSIR and ESCOM have made significant strides in the refurbishment of high-value steam turbine components which may lead to significant cost savings at power plants. Behind me is a 660 megawatt low pressure steam turbine which is used by Eskom in our fleet of coal-fired power stations. Currently of this specific low pressure turbine we've got 30 in service and there's another six spare ones. These turbine rotors are running for about 50,000 hours between inspection intervals and that's roughly about every six years. Then the rotors are removed from the plants, their casings, and they come here to Eskom's workshop at Rocheville for inspection. Basically um, looking at wear and tear and possible cracking on the rotor body and the rotor blades. Now on this specific type of rotor, we've got five stages of, of blades. It's a double flow rotor. And on stage three specifically, we got a long-term cracking problem of the understrap. Now that then means that we have to remove the stage three blades from the rotor. And in order to do so, we have to remove the tenons. Those tenons then have to be grinded off. The blades are removed. The consequences is that the blade then becomes unserviceable. We can't reinstall the same blade. So those blades are then scrapped and we have to purchase new. One of the promising technologies that came to the fore is laser welding. Through a research project between Eskom and the CSIR, the tenants were identified as a possibility to look at the application of laser welding in repairing these tenants. So over the last year, quite substantial investigations was done on the welding and the application and the finalization of the laser weld procedure. And to now we've actually managed to complete a uh, welding procedure in order to rebuild these tenants to the original dimensions after machining. This process is being done by laser metal deposition where the laser is used to create a melt pool on the surface of the substrate, the tip of the blade, and filling material is added into this weld pool and with the movement of the laser beam, a multiple layer is created to reconstruct the tenant profile. The laser process is, is generated by an offline programming system where a model of the Tenon profile in the virtual world is converted to a tool path which the robot would understand and then multiple layers are, are deposited uh, to restore the original dimension of the Tenon profile. The advantage of laser is the heat input is very low compared to other welding processes and this is mostly related to the size of the bead that we deposit. So it's, it's tiny and minute, it can be done very accurately, it creates a very high integrity uh, weld buildup with essentially no indications that can be determined by conventional uh, non-destructive techniques. As a result of the low heat input of the laser and the rapid solidification, the mechanical properties are exceptional both in terms of mechanical strength and impact resistance. The combination of the laser process for this specific application is really well suited to deliver a component with exceptional integrity and where repeatability of the process will ensure that production of these components can be done reliably. Turbines is probably the most highly stressed components in a power station. So you will find that um, as in the rotor that's behind me, uh, the, the, the blades which, which is subjected to a lot of forces, centrifugal forces, uh, the stresses in there is put a very high demand on the material. These materials are not your common and garden variety type materials. It's very exotic type of materials which make it quite difficult to just go and weld on these. You have to do a lot of research, development work, to uh, sort out your welding procedures. You must keep in mind that some of these turbines run up to 200,000, 300,000 hours. So the degradation on those can be quite significant. And on the blade specific, there is certain areas that 
is subjected to more wear and tear than other areas. For the last three or four years, there was groundwork done between Eskom and the CSR, developing such a procedure where we can weld on this exotic type of material, doing this very critical weld in such a manner that it, there's no defect. It has to be defect free, otherwise you might have these welds to dislodge during operation. And if you lose some of the blades on this turbine, the potential is there that you can have a catastrophic failure. The objective of, of this project is basically to recover a lot of unserviceable blades on the stage threes. Now, currently we're paying about 20,000 Rand for a new blade. So 20,000 Rand times 128 times two on one rotor is quite a substantial amount. Um, currently we've got about six full sets of these blades in boxes, which is unserviceable. So if we can recover them, at a fraction of the purchase price of, of cost, that will mean quite a substantial saving and it will also currently make a lot of blades available for reuse to ESCOM. The collaboration between CSIR and ESCOM continues. Further applications of laser welding on steam turbine components include the refurbishment of erosion shields on blade tips and the repair of grooves and scratches on rotor journals instead of cutting them to smaller dimensions. The groundwork on these applications have already started and as with the Tenon refurbishment has the potential to significantly extend the lifespan of steam turbines and lead to further cost savings.